Okay, so hi guys, today we're doing a question from C1 or C2, um, Radians. So, um, I was doing the video and earlier I made a mistake, but I realised where I went wrong. So it says to find out cos of this angle, A O B, so this angle here, and um, so we need to use this formula, so B squared plus E squared minus A squared over 2BC. So let's work that out. So, cos A we don't know, B squared will be 5 squared plus 5 squared minus 6 squared because a squared is going to be 6 squared because that's opposite the angle we want to find and we want to divide all that by 2 times 5 times 5 and that gives us 7 over 25 so uh, let me just write it in again so 5 squared plus 5 squared minus 6 squared over 2 times 5 times 5 equals to cos a and then our okay, camera running out of space equals to 7 over 25. So that's proved. So you've done part A. Part B, find A or B in radians. So now what we need to do is we need to convert this into degrees. So if you can see here, that's what we got. So we need to do cos to the minus 1 of that. So cos to the minus 1 answer. And if you can see, 73.74 degrees 73.74 degrees but we're not done because we need to find it in radians so we need to times it by pi and divide by 180 and we get an answer of but first always remember to put your calculator in radians 73.74 times by pi divide that by 180 and you should get an answer of 1.287 and I know that's right so find the area of the sector of O, A, B let me just label the parts, that's part A that's part A now we're on part C because this bit was part B uh, I don't know if you can see too clearly all of it let me just move my stuff a bit back that's fine I believe okay so we want to find the area of sector O, A, B so what we need to do is we need to use the equation A for the area is equal to half, 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 r squared theta. And now we need to sub in what we've got. So half theta is in radians. Always remember that it's going to be 1.287. And r squared is going to be 5 squared. Therefore, the answer to that is going to be 0 0.5 times 25 times 1.287. And you get an answer of 16.0875, which equals to 16.1. Now, part D. This bit's a, this one's a bit tricky. Um, so here's what I would recommend doing. So you see this triangle, you can effectively split it down the middle. And then you have two right-angled triangles. Then you can do half AB, so half times... You see, so hold it. So you have to do half times three times. What is it? Um, ah, oh, but we don't know the distance, do we? So we can work that out. Okay, so that's going to be three times. Then you want to do five squared minus three squared square rooted and I believe that's going to equal to 4 and then you want to times all that by 2 and then you want to uh, do 16.1 minus your answer so the reason for this is that when you split it down the middle you have two triangles now so we want to work out the area of one of the triangles so we need to know the length and we need to, we need to know the width to find this length out, we need to do Pythagoras. So the hypotenuse minus hypotenuse squared minus one of the other sides squared gives us the other line squared. So if we plug everything we did in this part into a calculator, we should get 0 0.5 times 3 times 4 times that by 2. So you get 12. So 16.1. Sorry for the lack of space. Minus 12 is equal to 
4.1 and that's your final answer so I hope that's been some insight and I hope that's helped you sorry it's a bit messy but that's the best I could do see ya